This is T-Time on Plus TV Africa. Thank you for joining us. My name is Elsie Godwin and I have my co-uncles with me, Ife Omai and Ife Oluwa Shunke. Yeah, that's me. Hi. Hi. <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> You're not looking forward to Friday anymore? Which is the Friday yeah, now? Yeah, I mean like the end of Friday, the close of work mm. on Friday. It's adult food. Yeah, it's a scam. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um... Adult a catch. Oh, don't leave me, that? don't leave me. Uh, you've lost me. <laughs> <laughs> Not that you left I me. You. I lost you. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, so South African rapper, aka test positive for coronavirus. He still made this known in a statement on Friday through his social media pages. They noted that the aim for making this public is to create awareness around the virus and to caution citizens to be more careful in their daily interactions with others. AKA pleads with everyone to adhere to the social distancing guidelines by wearing masks and observing stringent hygiene measures by constantly washing of the hands. So I'm not paranoid, I feel. What's that? You're I'm not paranoid, paranoid actually. No, I'm not. So I'm no, just being are. careful. I'm adhering to no, the NCDC guidelines and wearing my face mask. Your your paranoia is constituting nuisance. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not well, I'd rather constitute nuisance with my paranoia against coronavirus mm. than get the virus. So everybody that have imagine gotten the virus did like you might just imagine ten percent of plus. Then maybe there won't like be virus. Naturally there will be a virus because we're <laughs> doing all the So like that you are the virus if hmm? and everything. I'm the virus. Mm -hmm. Yes, I I know that I'm a virus, but a good one. Okay, please uh, focus. <laughs> um, I like how they took a bit of seriousness to the announcement. Not like Paul Luko. is it Peter? Mm, Peter. Yeah, mm. Peter. I like that it was quite serious, even though they did not give us like details of the you know his experience. There was the way they handled with such seriousness. Seriousness. Um, it's it's it will be hard for you to interact with that and still be lousy about it. You know, like he. We had a press statement that was typed and everything. Like, it was kind of serious because knowing uh, AKA doesn't the even really. Peter is his viral to write his own. Like, he doesn't even really. He came she said it was looking fancy. We learned lips. And, okay, pink mm, lips. And, like, you know, this was a bit more serious. Like, guys, for real, this is a, this is a serious so this problem is and blah, blah, blah. Obviously, it's hit mm. close for him and stuff. I'm really hoping that he's fine mm -hmm. and that he's. A mild case or easy yeah. case, whatever or those stages asymptomatic, are, asymptomatic, or, yeah. all of that type of stuff. The fact that I haven't really seen him mm. on social media after that is a bit scary because I went and I tried to see if it was tweeting and everything. So it's a very high chance that this was even PR. The tweet was done by somebody else. So I'm, no, I'm hoping that he's fine and that he's at least, what's the word, like he's still functioning a little bit. So it would be nice to look out for, I, I'll be looking out for him to see how things go with him and hopefully he gets better. Okay, so um, for AK, I just hope it gets better, gets stronger, and for the people that still think this virus is, uh, is a hoax, just know it isn't. It is for real. So adhere to the guidelines. Don't mind if they say you are a virus or you are paranoid. Yes, because it is contagious. So that's what it is. Please don't preach rubbish. Though. It is what because it is. Because you're going to tell people to be a nuisance because they're trying to protect themselves. Please be right? a nuisance if you're protecting yourself. Why can't you just you protect yourself? Why must you be protect, a nuisance? I'm not being a nuisance. I'm just paranoid and you guys have a problem with my paranoia. No, no, no. Paranoia is not the problem. The nuisance part is the what's problem. A, what's the nuisance part? Do you want to like when people talk, Like when people talk and I yell at them and they're not wearing their mask, is that what you mean? Yes, of course. If you want to speak to me, wear your mask. You can't be speaking to me without your mask. It's just commonsensical. I'll just allow it for TV's sake, for you to pretend like you, you don't know, like you you don't don't know, know what I'm talking about. Yeah, mm, news. <laughs> that you're just shouting. Let me just allow you to have that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> moving on from the newsersness. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how did you pronounce this name? Isha Sese and Idris Elba launch a survival solidarity fund for survivors of sexual assault in Sierra Leone. Aside raising funds, the fund, um, or the, it was created to bring global attention to the endemic sexual violence against women in Sierra Leone. Organizers of the fund say that 90% of girls in Sierra Leone experience some form of gender-based mm. violence in their lifetime, ranging from rape and sexual assault to child marriage and female genital mutilation. Um, Sese and Elba are British-born, but of Sierra Leone descent, Decent. and will be working with local activists as well <coughs> as survivors, movement leaders, and allies in the country. 
This mm. is quite commendable. Well Very. done, guys. Yeah. Every time I see Sese in the news, it's always like really phenomenal stuff. She's like a big deal for me. I don't know. I'm just like she's really always in the news. She's on CNN. No, she's not. <laughs> um, she stopped. Yeah. She stopped yeah. CNN. Oh yeah. Ages. Um, that's another topic I wish we discussed. But um, she's Why she like left? yeah. But she's like. You know, somebody that I really look up to for a lot of reasons. She's broken grounds being a black person, being a woman, broken a lot of grounds and stuff. So I'm glad that, you know, she's in the news for something like this because she has a clout that comes with her. And I think this will really give, um, what's it called, a lot of light to the problems that are going on in Sierra Leone in regards to gender violence. There's not a lot of people that can pull that type of attention. I also like that they come from different backgrounds. Like one is from the entertainment industry and one is like hard news and stuff. Uh, yeah. So you bring different types of audiences yeah, to, to the matter. Yeah, as well. Yeah, so I went and looked at the fund, the in the uh, what you call it now, the fund that they've tried to like set up mm -hmm. and stuff, and it's already getting so much attention. But something that really stood out for me is um, the fact that they left a lot of transparency for mm. how they want things to be funded. So there's actually like a way that you can see on a daily basis how much income enters that place. And I think that that's like really amazing because no one really cares or needs to know about that. But the fact that they're already doing that sets a precedence of like honesty and transparency. And I, I'm really digging that. I'm, I like that obviously Idris Elba, mm -hmm, my thing, <laughs> is obviously on that as well, it's doing, okay. the, doing the okay. right thing. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I, I love this initiative because um, it makes a lot of sense, especially when it comes to what we're all fighting against, sexual abuse, um, assault, harassment and all of that. So, yes, we should focus on that because it's not just for the girl child, like we always say, we're gender balanced in this table. So it's both for the male and female. Every one of them face one. Obviously, the ratio is not equal or the percentage is not the same. But at the same time, we need to focus on everybody. And I'm glad Idris Elba never forgets home he never forgets his roots that's one thing i love about the guy and um i don't know a lot about um say say but yes i apart from the fact that she, i thought she was still on cnn super side but um good thing is like you said different audience okay. they're bringing entertainment of course with the entertainment you get to make a lot of money because you can do free concerts you can do free this and people would donate and pay and do that yeah and with say say she can bring out like when she's passing across the information people would actually listen because that's exactly what she does so that's a good thing and i like the fact that and i think um this should cut across other countries like let's do more of this let's create more awareness let's help people that have been rape, rape victims sexual harassment victims assaults whatever it is let's help people domestic violence mm. let's just help it and let's do more of this i think um one of the things that come up when conversations regarding black lives matter especially for racist the ba I know you know racism has a level, but the ones that you can break their head when you see them they usually try to refer these people back to home according mm. to them africa being their home and what are they doing and why is it that they cannot go back home now it's not like i'm part of that conversation or i even think it makes sense but sometimes when they try to use their past to hold them down and you also see entertainers that will come out to always talk about oh africa we want to go home we mm. want to know our roots um what idris and this lady is doing is to put your money where your, your mouth, mouth is, is or yeah. where your heart is in this in this case mm. because they have found out that Sierra Leone is where their own forefathers came from and they are deciding to do something amazing for those people. Now imagine if I'm sorry I have to bring Beyonce to this table. Somebody like Beyonce with the whole um love she <clears throat> portrays and what she does with her art which i think is actually important as well mm -hmm. if she goes a little further mm. to look for where those um um, um history or culture say she's um, portraying comes from and try to see what to do there as well and maybe relate better with these people now i know that we Some have a problem donations though, well so. we have a problem of um, um leadership in this part of the world but i think that if um people of this level come together and maybe speak with them negotiate mm. with them with those that are present leaders or those that would become leaders maybe there would be a way to actually push africa to where africa is supposed to be mm. so True because that. of that thought i mean i was really happy i was really glad that this is not just waking up to say i'm throwing money to nigeria or i'm throwing money to there is something that is tying you there which i think has a lot of grounds for your passion and not just because you want to look good to the media so yeah i think this is just good and this is 
all off the back of the five-year-old girl that was raped mm -hmm. and strangled mm -hmm. in Sierra Leone. So. I mean, there's been a lot of cases there's in regards to that has, that has trended a lot, actually. The five-year-old was not even um, one, one of the people that broke the camel's back in getting, um, what's it called, the international attention. international recognition in, in, in what's happening there. I like that you brought up, brought up cultural appropriation. Because it's interesting, these two people that are even in the news right now haven't really been seen to culturally appropriate anything anyway. Mm -hmm. So you would expect a lot more from people who are actually benefiting from the um, using the culture. And it's it's a good example to for Beyonce. And I'm not sure she's not watching Tea Time, but that'd be nice if she... Someone would tell her. <laughs> tea Time continues right after the short break. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I decide them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do it. Everybody feeling alright. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself minimal are you. Mm. Apala music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi like Sleeping early. Sleeping early. Welcome back to Still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Funke Akindele did not buy me a house, and this is coming from veteran actor Kayode Olashayinde Ajiwebi, popularly known as Pa James. We called that a report went viral yesterday of Nollywood actor, producer, and director Funke Akindele <coughs> gifting Pa James a house following the damage caused by flood to his own house. Um, the veteran actor, while showing gratitude to Funke Akindele for her kindness, went on to explain that the house wasn't bought for him by the actress, rather, she paid his rent for an apartment. He said this clarification became necessary after he was accosted by area boys on the streets, um, I think yesterday as well. Mm. Yeah. But the, it's the thoughts that counts and um, for people, I think, they confused us a bit when the story broke, though, because the Instagram post was saying her Gifted. home, mm -hmm. you know, her home, and um, the blogs were saying for the apartment. I don't know if you guys also saw that. Mm -hmm. You Did saw you see that apartment. As well. I saw apartment. I saw home in the Instagram post, but but these I days just, you can actually buy an apartment. You yeah, you can buy, buy an house, apartment. Yeah. I know that, but. Um, I don't think uh, Fuki Akideli would want to buy an apartment. I think she'd rather just buy him a, a nice bungalow with the same what? money she why, used to buy an apartment. Why wouldn't a Fuki Akideli like, buy an apartment? Yeah. Why, why, yeah. I don't understand. I don't know. I just think if I want to give somebody something, I probably won't gift you an, an apartment. Maybe a condo, maybe. If, yeah. Yeah, do you know how much what? an apartment is? <laughs> No. The fact that this I'm conversation just, is even anyway. going there is a bit weird to me. When yeah, I was reading but, the story, I didn't really care. If it was rented or bought, I just, the fact I just it, thought that's why I said this because I don't think account. anyone actually alluded to the idea that she gave him the oh, apartment. Oh, I did, I did too. That he, that yeah, she yeah, she asked him a house. A lot of people, I just thought, okay, she had a lot of properties did. and then she gave him one of her properties. I mean, it's not too much, it's not too much to so, do for, but for a veteran is, like Bajin. He's, still, he's still very appreciative of what she and has he's done. only saying this because of the fact what is he that it became important for him to actually make this clear because tomorrow if he did not make it clear now and maybe it's in the next two years or three years that he comes up in an interview and he says no matter how nice he says it people will still call him ungrateful but right now the way he puts it and the way they made the video and to just mm. make it clear because of what he had already faced from area, area boys, boys i think it's fair for it to be corrected now because me if me thought it was a gift a house gift imagine the area imagine boys. there are many people I th well, from what i read i think it was very like it wasn't the conversation that was happening whether or not it was given or if it was rented no, that was not the conversation but what was gotten from that communication was that she gave him a house yeah but how you give the house okay for me i didn't really think about to be honest i didn't think whether that it was a permanent yes residence. whether it was given away so if somebody says oh i gave you a car like i don't know if it was rented if it was sponsored if it was owned if you put my name in it like my, i don't no, think somebody, that was some, for somebody who's had really a house issue for over 10 years mm -hmm. because it's also been getting flooded mm. consistently for 10 years one would have anyone would think okay it's a permanent gift so that you can it leave could be that a permanent place. this could be a permanent situation as well that should be paying his rent. he wrote it there for the meantime 
so okay it's not so permanent. The, the, the point i'm making is that of course whether she paid for even one month is a big deal and she has done something amazing. She took someone who needed help and provided and the provided. help so that's within why her own capacity. So, but at the same time, I'm also saying that it, it became important for um, Pal James to actually come out to clarify this because we know how things go in Nigeria and social media space. And I mean, he's still, he's still active in the industry to a certain degree. He still goes for an interview. So there will be a time where this will come up and he will need to clarify and it will now look like it's coming from a place, that, an ungrateful place. And I don't think that's and where it is coming from. Is it, this, in case anybody wants to dash him out, I think please. this takes us to what Sean was also talking about well, as well. But <laughs> I don't know. I just, maybe, I'm, maybe I'm just really different, but I don't, I didn't really feel the way he explained it. And okay. I don't know. I don't really feel it. But if uh, it just didn't sit well with me, I, I think, think I would have. I think he should have shut up. Yeah, I didn't think he, it was no, I think no, no, but no, it was it was necessary it. if she he could have said it. Didn't but the way it. he said it, like she, she, she didn't buy it. Yeah, I that's what I'm saying. I like, would have preferred if he said it in in passing that like, oh, and I'm really grateful for the rented apartment that she gave me. But to come out and say that I don't know every every time I hear a but in a really overwhelming speech it sounds like the overwhelming well, you before understand the but that he was, had to wait, do wait, it wait, because, because of wait, what wait. He i'm saying that before the but everything that you've said that's supposed to be extra seems like a if i say i really appreciate i'm really sure i'm really 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 and then i say but, but i wish it was bigger yeah or but i wish no, it was that's not what he said that's, that's how i read it i wish yeah. you just said cool, i'm really grateful not, for her thingy it was a rented apartment i'm great blah, 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 blah. yeah maybe but i'm grateful i'm grateful wait though i'm really grateful i'm really really grateful but it's I'm not that big it's not for me maybe no i wish it was bigger but it's not that big. Yeah. I didn't like that. Okay. I, I get where you're coming from because I thought so too. I felt like, okay, what's the need of saying this? Then I saw the whole area boy thing and yeah, all so that. Yeah, so there was a need, yes. There was, there was a need, said, but uh, I would, I, it was said... Um, it, but a, the way it now ended it again... You don't have a side. No, okay. no, 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 no. The way now ended it again, like... Um, but if okay, Akidele didn't buy me a house, like disclaimer and all ah, that, like, mm -mm. Mm, yeah, I get, I got Just that. My own problem, well, like I said, my problem is not this conversation, it's the man that they said did the video, they couldn't afford. What mm. is your own the matter? <laughs> uh, why are you the cameraman? Why are you the messenger? Why are you the one instigating the video? Mama, my mama, my mama, my mama, my mama, my mama, Moving on. <laughs> I've never been arrested. I'm oh, sorry. I've never been interested in married men. And that's coming from Yvonne Nelson. As she wants married men to stay away from her. As um, she's not the happiness they are seeking. Bridge. Bridge says... Why do I feel like it's... Mm -hmm. Like it's what? This is the, the same vibe I'm getting from the first story. It's like a humble brag, sort of. I don't know. But I guess maybe she's trying to also... Because I know she has an, a reputation for that. That, you Slips know... She married men? Well, that... She married, dates you, married well, men. Well, she's she, 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 she tangled <laughs> with married men, Sha, in a way. I'm guessing... This, this, way is, this, this, the is, the same, so, this is the same way I feel about the first story. Uh. It's like... I'm I'm trying to say something, but I'm not like I don't know I don't know I just don't feel the but honesty. But you read the part where yeah, she yeah, said like, like I that coming to her even makes her woman. sad for the woman he's married to and all that. It no woman, no woman weird. deserves. Sorry. And I saw some weird comments. No woman deserves um, a man mm. who would be jumping from she is married to you legally married and then is still chasing after all the women so i get that that part of yeah, what she said this is the comment that, from a guy who said that, yeah who said that happy? what if they're not they're happy married. what if the woman <laughs> nags what if the real wife is giving so them why trouble is still there? and all that so oh, and, and i like what she said that if you're having issues in your relationship be bold enough to tell the person communicate look i'm not happy with this there's nothing wrong with divorce anymore if you're not happy anymore just say it and move on so you should be the one that will quote bible for us tomorrow that, that it's not, it's not a good thing. <laughs> no, I think that one because your peace and mental health is very important. Ah. So I don't think yeah. every divorce is pretty much based <laughs> on that. That their peace and mental health mm. is not kinny. Um, but I, 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 I agree to an extent what you're saying in regards to like obviously not preaching that. But at the same time, um, I don't think you can control the fact that a man is going to look outside of his marriage because there's different reasons for that. Some people won't even give their blessings. Some people are swingers. Some people. They cannot are even give us his own reason. Exactly, nature, whatever. So I think it's it, that. Well, it has to be open. It has to be sincere. Yeah, yeah. but she doesn't know if every every single married man that yeah, went yeah. there is based on cheating. Most of them are. I, I'm sorry. I don't know. Maybe I don't know. Maybe it's just a Friday thing, or I don't. I didn't come right out of the bed. But I'm not. I'm not seeing this. The honesty, like. What did you have for breakfast? I didn't have breakfast. Lunch. Maybe I uh, chicken. Okay, our food. Like, 
Our um, food was it, mixed. Yeah, I wanted burger. Maybe that's why, but I don't know. For some reason, I don't really see the honesty in like she really genuinely cares about the married man. It just found, found, sound to me like first of all, I want to use this method. This life to, is not I want balanced. to use this. She scope. wanted burger. I wanted damala, <laughs> and I got fufu. Can I? And what did you get? Chickpeas. You see. Like, are you I, I felt like one, she was using that method to just basically clear her name that she's actually not interested in um, married men, and two, to brag that married men are in your corner. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't feel it. But whatever anyway, it is, married men, it's, please the, it's the message that Nelson. we're going to follow. <laughs> is that simple? That message is apt. Like she was on point with the message, and I like the right. Did she say hashtag so, bullying married men? Did you see yeah, that? Yeah, I saw that. What she was trying to say, we should bully them. The yeah, ones like that sleep chase around? them out of your okay, that's DMs weird. and all that. That is very weird. Would you like a married man sliding in your DM? I wouldn't care. There's people sliding my DMs. I can't care less to find out if they're married or they're not married, if they're whatever. Aww. I'm focused on where I'm focused. But what, 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 why are you believing this? New Woni. New Woni. It's finished to you, right? What do you want? That's finished, but that, yeah, what is the thing I knew? <laughs> I, why, why are we believing it? I don't know. Her tweets. Mm, okay. Yes, sir. Please focus on your wife. Thank yeah. you. Please I mean, focus. that's the point. Yeah. Focus mm -hmm. on your wife. You can't be playing. And if you're not much. happy, communicate with your wife. Okay, mm. moving on. Having money doesn't mean you are blessed. And that's coming from Joel Duncan. Williams. He said, and I quote, riches don't determine blessing. The Bible says, the Lord make it rich and add it no sorrow. You are blessed from the time you entered this world. I knew Hush Poppy personally and his situation is unfortunate but is he, is he in a blessed position right now? Having life, eating, moving, seeing means you are blessed. The blessing is not in a piece of paper. The piece of paper can actually locate other people but not everyone is blessed. Preach, and Pastor. you cannot buy blessing. If it's on you, it's on you. Preach, Pastor. End of quote. And this, he was talking about um, pressure um, from society for people. Yeah. But we've seen a lot of people that have this money and they're not happy. They don't have peace of mind. That's mm. not being blessed. So I don't, agree want, that I don't, I don't want to have that actually, type of right? money. I want to have the type of money that I would be able to sleep with both eyes. Well, you have want to have money. Of course. I, actually, when I saw this headline, I said, what's this? I actually went to a pastor to, to go. No, ah. after reading it, I still spoke to okay. a pastor Our about is it. Not, just finish everything. Let's listen. I still spoke to, <laughs> no, it's not that deep. I still spoke to a pastor about it that, okay, so this pastor said this, this pastor said that. What do you think? And he explained to me that, yes, the fact that you're alive, the fact that you can breathe, that being blessed is something you come to life with. It's mm. something that as soon as you're born, you are blessed. So it's not, it doesn't determine, riches do not determine your blessing. As long as there's life, there is hope. So, so if blessed. I don't have money today it doesn't mean i'm not blessed i think it's because basically you don't know. count your little wins and your little privileges I yeah guess. because you yeah. don't know what so tomorrow you brings everybody's blessed yeah we're all blessed we're all blessed the fact so that you're blessed for blessings they don't blessed. go to church for blessings do we go to church for blessings you don't ask for blessings i have to be in the i go to church to be in the presence of the lord i'm saying not you if you as in collective you people don't ask for blessings i think you have to carry carry over this conversation and maybe get the first pastor to explain what he has explained to him but until then that's how we end this conversation thank you for watching and just send your opinions via whatsapp to 0906 or tweet at us at Plus TV Africa. My thank you as always to go to my interesting co anchors, Ife Omai and Ife Oluo Shoke. Stay blessed. And the entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. My name remains Elsie Godwin. Please do stay safe and stay blessed.